Hey, today we'll take a close look at how to use Scanning Pro in different DLWs. There are three ways. First, you can use Scanning Pro as a classic insert with transfer mode. Second, use the audio suit and as the last option, ARA. If your DLW doesn't support ARA like Ableton, FS Studio and Cubase, not Pro version, you need to use the transfer mode. Pro Tools users should use the audio suite and for all other DLWs like Studio One, Reaper, Cubase, Nuendo or Logic and more, you can use ARA. In the description you'll find the timestamps to jump to your DLW. In Pro Tools you need to use the audio suite. To do this click on audio suite in the top menu and choose Gain a Pro. Uh, first I need to find it there. Now the interface appears. To display the waveform in Gaining Pro, select your desired clip, click on load audio, and now you're ready to work. So now we can analyze our file. And if you wish to hear the changes after analyzing with Gaining Pro, click on uh, this icon here. How we can live with the speed. When you're satisfied, you need to click Render to save the changes from Gaining Pro to your audio clip. But now let's dive in the big world of ARA. The ARA integration varies across DLWs, starting with Studio One. Select the audio clip and then open the inspector with the tiny eye icon on the left. Now we'll expand this section here and activate event fix. Then click on event editors and choose Gaining Pro. This opens Gaining Pro as VST3. AU versions will default to transfer mode. So make sure you're working with the VST3. Now you can edit your clip with Gaining Pro. In Logic on M1 or M2 Max, first navigate to your Applications folder. Right-click on Logic and choose Open using Rosetta. Then start Logic. To use ARA in Logic, place the ARA plugin at the beginning of your Tracks Effects chain. Otherwise, Gaining Pro will open in Transfer mode. After selecting the clip you wish to edit, you might notice that no waveform appears in Gaining Pro. This is a logic specific behavior with ARA plugins. The waveform becomes visible after you hit play. To switch between clips on a track, select another clip and hit play again. The waveform will then appear in Gaining Pro, allowing you to edit the second clip. Rest assured, your edits are always saved and will be present when you revisit an already edited clip. In Cubase or in Wendo, you can use Gaining Pro on a track or directly on a clip. To use Gaining Pro on a track, select the track, go to Extensions on the left and choose Gaining Pro. The waveform will then appear and you can start the analysis process. To use it directly on a clip, Select the clip, go to Extensions and choose Gaining Pro. The waveform will automatically appear. In Reaper, there are two ways to use ARA as well. The first is on a track where Gaining Pro must be the first insert, similar to Logic. Choose Gaining Pro as a VST3, Add, and select the clip you wish to edit. And you can see the waveform will display in Gaining Pro. To edit another clip on a track, simply select it. To use Gaining Pro directly on a clip, right click on the clip, go to Take, Show of X chain for Active Take, and choose Gaining Pro as a VST3. And now you're ready to work. Now you should be ready to use Gaining Pro. If your DLW wasn't listed here, let me know in the comments. If you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate a like. If not, feel free to hit the dislike button twice. 
Wishing you all the best and happy mixing.